Hello Tinkers, and in this terraforming series we're going to look at space bases and hopefully give you some ideas about how you can create your own space base nice and easy. Let's have a look at a couple of pictures I pulled up. When I'm talking about space bases I'm talking about ones that are on other planets. I've got this nice one, it's uh, made up of domes with interconnecting corridors. That should be nice and easy to recreate in Tinkercad. And then I've got this more angular one, it's built up with modules. Let's start off with a nice easy one. How am I going to create some domes? Well, in basic shapes, I've got this dome shape. I've got it bright pink at the moment. Let's make it nice and big so it's nice and clear to see. Let's say 42 by 42. Let's change its color, make it a dark purple. And I could even make it transparent if I wanted to. Here we go. So I've got my nice middle central space base. And then all I've got to do really is duplicate them out. I'll duplicate three of them. So that's one, two, Three. and I can bring one out this direction, one out this direction, holding shift and it just goes along the axes and then one out the back. There you go. I've got some nice space spaces. I could make the one in the middle slightly bigger to kind of give it a bit of emphasis. And obviously I need to play around with aligning them. So I want to make sure they're aligned this direction. Now I've scaled them and then I want to Make sure this is in the middle. Well, how can I do that? I can just bring it across either by the eye or I could use arrow keys. And then I could also, if I group all them together, I could use them as a alignment tool for my one at the back. So I select the one at the back and the ones at the front. Align them because these are grouped, they are one object. And if I align them, then it brings them all into alignment. Yeah. So that's nice and easy. Well, how can I build the corridors in between them? Well, what could I start with? I could start with a box. And on my box, I'm just going to put this nice rounded roof. How do I get this rounded roof? Well, standard, we're always 20 by 20. And this is 20 by 20. So let's bring this one up 20, bring it off the ground. If I can't get it perfect, I can just type it in here, 20. And then select them both and then align them and it will put one on top of the other nice and easily and save me a lot of hassle eyeballing them. Well that's not really a corridor but it doesn't matter at the moment because what I'm now going to do is I'm going to select both of them shapes. I can either hold shift and click on them both and I can group them together. Here we go. I can make them the same color so let's have them purple and make them transparent. And then I can start playing around and adjusting the size. So I want a nice long corridor, don't I? So I want a long corridor. Nice and thin. And this one's going to go straight through the middle of all of them. Here we go. It's going to come out this side, isn't it? So this is where I want to look at my scaling. I want it to be a front and back. Here we go. Looking about right. So how wide is that? That is 12 wide. 12 wide. That is looking good. How high is that? It's 18 high. I'm happy with that. Looks a bit weird now they are transparent, but if I grab them all and group them, thinks about it, and it'll put it all into one. There we go. There you go. And you see how now it's got this nice, like, transparent cut. So I want another one of those corridors and the thing is I've now grouped it. So what I can do is I can either go undo or I can just ungroup for a second. And then I've got this corridor. I can duplicate that. I can put it off to the side. So then when I regroup all these, I'll put it back just how I wanted it with my corridor running through all the way through bases. And I'm just going to grab this one. I'm going to come around and bring it just slightly in so it's nice and easy to do it. And then I grab my just and hold shift so it does it at 45 and I bring it around to 90 then I can put it in the middle here as well get that roughly in the middle it does look a bit odd when you've got playing around with transparencies because it's got this cut in and you can see through the shapes remember but as soon as I'm happy with roughly the shape I can group them together think about it for a bit and then it makes these really there you go what a cool space base I've got if you're not happy with transparency, it's nice and easy to get rid of. I just unselect it here, and I've kind of got my first modular spoon, moon base or space base. Let's make that nice and small because I just want to give you a few other ideas because that's a nice easy one with the domes. What you can also do is there's a couple of really cool things you can do with the cone and a polygon. 
It's a hexagonal prism, but the reason it's called a polygon is because basically I can change how many sides I have on this. So I quite like an eight sided one. You can do this with as many numbers as long as you're keeping it the same. So I'm going to go with eight to start off with. The reason I'm going to go with eight is for a particular reason what I can do with a cone. I'm also going to bring a plabloid on because I'm going to show it with a plabloid as well because it basically these don't fit on an eight sided shape because this one's round and this one's round on the base. And this one's quite high. So let's just, it's 20 by 20, isn't it? And that's our standard size. And all of them are 20 by 20 to start off with. I'm just going to bring this down to 10 because this is going to just be my base. Now then, I know this has got eight sides. What can I do here? Well, actually, if you look here at the bottom, when I've selected my cone, it says how many sides. And at the moment, it's got 24. If I make this eight, look what happens. I've now got an eight-sided, I've got an eight-sided cone. Well, it's not an eight-sided cone, but... That means this, if I bring it up 10 off the ground and select them both, holding shift, align them both. There you go, it puts one on top of the other and it perfectly fits on top. That looks a very pointy shape. We don't want pointy tops to our space spaces, do we? We kind of mostly have flat, these ones are kind of flat topped. So what I can do here is look at my top radius. I can bring my top radius up and it has, it opens up this point. And then I can just bring this down to make it look like a really cool space base. And there you go, I've kind of got a cool space base. And I can do that with a plabloid as well. So let's just duplicate my bottom part of my space base section here, bring that across. And here again, if I click on that, it's got steps this time. If I change that to eight, brings it right down. And this one will now match up with my Octagonal prism. Select them both by holding shift. Let's align them. There we go. And then obviously I need to bring it up 10 because it's got to be 10 off the ground. Make sure it's perfect. That's nine. If it's one to perfect, click on it. Click on 10. Brings it perfectly on top and it fits perfectly on top. And then this one does kind of come to a base, but if I squish it down, it kind of gives this dome shape that I might be wanting to look for. There you go. If I select both of these, let's group them both together now. I have got two types of module base, and then I now can start playing around with their size. So I can bring it out. I can have it 39 by 39, or let's go with 40 by 40. And that kind of looks like a nice space base. Obviously, I can play around with the radius on top if I want to ungroup. And then I take my cone, or what was my cone originally, and I can change and play around with my top radius. So I can have it going out if I want. That'd be a bit weird, but then I can have it going right into a point if I wanted to. And you can see it changing, yeah? I can just play around until I am happy with a look. This one I can make nice and big again. Do this one 40 by 40. If I'm struggling with getting the sizes right, then I can just click on these, type in 40, and type in 40. There you go. And then I've kind of got this kind of dome shapes. And I can start to think about how I'd like these to be joined up. And how I want these space bases to be joined up. So I could go for a nice simple type of corridor I've gone here with a rounded roof and a cube. Or I could try using a cube. Or I could grab another cone. Why would another cone? Would a cone fit on a cube? Of course not. But if I take this cone and I change its sizes to four... Bring it right down. There you go. Look, I've got that square base pyramid. Now, I could have grabbed a square base pyramid by myself, but I don't want that at the moment because there's a reason here, and I'll show you that in a second. So what I can do with this one, bring it up, and it's 20 high, isn't it, that cuboid? So select both of them, align them both. There we go. And then what do I need? I need 20 by 20 and it's 14. So I'll just time 20 by 20. There we go. Let's align them again. Make sure we fit perfectly together. Now, why don't I want to just put a square base pyramid on top of a cube? Well, because once I can move this down, what it does allow me to do, remember, it allows me to change this base radius again. So it allows me to have a flat top. And I can make it without having to play around with it too much. I can play around with this. I get the right look. There we go. So when I now group these together, start playing around with the height and the length of the corridor, 
I've got a flat topped roof, haven't I? So now when I join it up, it kind of matches. My space base, yeah. Oops, they're not joined, so I need to make sure they're joined up. Always making sure it's good to have them grouped together. Keep some right. There you go, and then I've got my space base. It doesn't matter if they go into each other and intersected. And then I can join them all up. If you click and hold, make that red square over both of them. Group. And there you go, I've got my space base all nice and connected. And if I don't want it, I can make sure I can have it multicolored. I think purple, white, and red really don't go and don't look like space bases. But what else could I do? I can ungroup it and then I can play around with these colors. So I can have a nice warm gray base here. Let's make this one slightly darker gray. And the corridor doesn't want to be bright red up there, does it? That one can be a dark gray in between. There you go, I've got my space spaces connected up. Yeah, and using these modules, I could obviously shorten my corridors down. Don't have to have such a long corridor between each segment. I can move these in and then I can connect them in multiple different ways. And then I could have this one connected to my dome. It's just about getting the scale right, isn't it? So that is my basics. And then obviously you can take it however you want. But that's simple ways to really create some nice, cool looking space bases that could then go on to your terraform landscape. Good luck, tinkerers. Look forward to seeing what designs you come up with.